Well, hello, everybody, and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be with us today. And I'm very excited about the content that we have for you for this special business training. Now, with everything that's happening in the world, and there is a lot happening in the world right now, it's important that you understand how to connect with people, how to share with people, how to create interest, keep interest, and keep engagement all through social media. Now, I had a unique experience recently. Before all this happened, I was in Minneapolis, and we were having a phenomenal training, a UIA training with David Wood. Now, one portion of that training, we decided to have a panel where we talked about social media, and I invited Robin Belfry to speak on that panel. And the genius that she dropped on that is something that I wanted to be shared with a much larger group than the few hundreds that we had there. Now, I want you to take a lot of notes, be ready with your pen and your paper. Even though we're recording this, I want you to be writing it down because I want you to apply this even before we can get the recording out for people because this training can be the difference between you thriving through this or not thriving through this. So let me tell you a little about Robin Belfry. When I first met Robin, I was like, she has to be one of the coolest people I have ever met in my entire life because not only is she just categorically cool, she is also so approachable, so warm, and such a kind, good person. She's a four-star golden circle. She has a level of consistency that you would not believe. She earns on a regular basis what is my, uh, favorite, absolute favorite promotion that we have through Isagenix, which is the executive lifestyle bonus, which is not easy to earn, not easy to keep, but she does it because of her level of consistency. And she is absolutely one of the nicest people I've ever met. With that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the time over to Robin and she is going to drop her genius on you. So pens, papers at the ready. This is going to be bananas. Robin, how are you doing today? I am fabulous. I am so honored, so thankful to be sharing today. I, you know, UIA was an incredible experience. David Woods is incredible. If you have not been to one of his trainings, you need to go, um, truly. So, so thank you for having me today. I keep saying that, but I will just get to it. I know everybody, you know, has, you know, time crunches and they're trying to learn as much as they can in a short amount of time. Um, so many people to help. Um, I, yes, I've been sharing isogenics for five years and I guess I've learned and grown my skills with this. But one thing I want to say is, you know, kind of talking to new people, if you are, you know, there's a lot of people out here that have been doing this a long time, but definitely new people like have no idea where to start. Um, they don't post a lot. They're like, what do I do? Um, you know, so I would look at your profile. Like literally you gotta start there, look at your profile. What is your profile page? What does your page look like? If someone comes to your page, what do they see? Like, is it polished? Are you professional? You know, these are things like, you can take it upon yourself, take a good picture, get in good lighting, have someone take a picture for you. Um, your, your profile picture and your cover photo. Um, and then like, what does it say about you that you wanna add value? In this world, you know, I, I, for myself, I love contribution. Even before isogenics, it was about family. It was about love. It's about community, you know, and supporting other people and building people up. So really look at what your profile says and what is your mission statement, you know, to help free people physically, financially, um, and contribute to, you know, helping, you know, make it a better world. So profile, your profile page, um, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, those are two platforms I like to use. Um, some people use other platforms, but those are two that I really like. Um, and then how I like wake up every day, like literally it's like, think about it the day before you can even plan out your week. If you only have one day, like let's say you are still working a full-time job right now, because a lot of people build this in the pockets of their time. Um, build out your days. Like, what am I going to post on Monday? Because no posting isn't everything, but it's a part of it. And it's, we live in the world, it's a gig economy. And what am I gonna post? How am I gonna wake up and add value today? Like if I can teach something, what can you teach someone? Feeling better, um, adding inspiration. So also, you know, sharing on your story, sharing a quote. If you literally don't, can't think of something, you guys, you can Google, use Google. <laughs> you know, um, that's something that was so easy that I started doing years ago, you know, or if I'm at a community event, you guys, okay, right now we aren't able to go to live in-person events right now. So we're doing a lot of Zoom events. But if I'm, you know, 
our team, I don't even like to call it my team. The verbiage I use is our team because the team, the team is amazing. Everyone is lifting each other up. So kind of using that verbiage is also something I like. It's not my team. It's our team, one team. Um, but Google like community, culture, leadership, and you can come up with words and verbiage to write in your posts. Okay. Um, show your community. Like now more than ever, like it's easy to maintain like your team and regularly within your team pages and just throughout your regular Facebook page or your Instagram page. If you're showing community and culture, you know, that's what you want more of. I think, I hope if you're here, you know, you want to show a little bit of that. Um, if you want, really want to grow and if you want to be a leader, you're going to have to create and show that. Um, so showing that's something that I do. Like we have, um, zoom calls all the time right literally we have daily training so i literally will videotape a little bit or i'll do a boomerang or i'll take a picture of another leader sharing like whenever we would have time out tuesdays in person always sharing showing someone else not everyone is like me right and they're not like you this is about someone else this is about what it can do for other people so i'm gonna show and i'm showing that susie who works at a restaurant where I don't work, totally is doing this, has had an amazing transformation, or she's created an extra $500 a month for her family, or you know Angie, who is pregnant and has been able to use our amazing products during her whole pregnancy. So you're constantly showing the community, the culture, other people, while mixing yourself in, because you're the brand, you are the brand, and one thing that I know that I, I kind of was saying to you, John, like over and over, and I say this to everyone, you guys, stories and videos grow, are growing and growing. Talk on your story, okay? Like talk, like just talk, like hello energy. Don't just post a picture like, good morning, it's gonna be a great day. That's good, that's a good start if you've never posted before. Okay, I'll give you props, seriously. But in order to grow, you're going to have to get uncomfortable. I did not always feel comfortable talking on Facebook Live, talking on my stories. Sometimes, a lot of times, I still don't feel like it. I swear, don't. You just do it. Um, you know, you just got to do it. So no action, no results, right? Um, if you want to grow. So something that we've done within our team too, and you can cut me off, John, anytime, because I feel like I like there's so many things. I literally have stuff on my wall, just so you know. I, well, I love it. I actually, I had one question that came up here is, is when are you normally posting throughout the day? Yeah, is that's what I was going to Yep. So I was going to say, so something that we kind of stuck to with posting is a 10 for one rule of posting. So you guys, we don't just turn into a shake and we don't just turn into Bia. Okay. Like, no. I love Bia, obsessed. Yes, I had a Bia today and I had an Isha, if you can't tell. Okay. And I had a shake. I had all the things. But you don't turn into that. Like, who were you? Stay consistent with your other passions. 10 posts that are your other passions. What are you passionate about? I love love. I love family. I love community. I love having fun. I love being quirky. I love pink, if you didn't know. Okay? Like, you're going to find that out when you come to my page. Like, if you don't love pink, you're obviously not gonna talk if you're a man talk about if you like skiing or if you like snowboarding you like your kids you like you know boating show your other passions don't just turn into a shake so 10 posts that are other passions what are you passionate about oh food love food i love healthy aging who doesn't like all those things so 10 posts of other things your other passions stay consistent with your passions that is ginormously huge four posts that are Isogenics related. So that would be your BIA. That would be your shakes. That would be your pre-workout, your post-workout. Maybe you're having the BIA in the picture with you doing a workout. Maybe, you know, and you're like, be a healthy change, be a better you. Um, and, or make it funny, like, um, I don't know. And then you, or your protein ice cream, you know, I'm having 24 grams of pee before bed, you know, chocolate, creamy Dutch chocolate, my nutrients, um, you know, or I'm drinking. Oh no, you guys, here's a post for you. If you haven't done this, your, your ionic Supreme who has stress in your life. Okay. So take a picture, set the timer up, duct tape your phone to the wall or to a window. You want to have good lighting. So have the light in front of you, a good test to take pictures. Go in a circle and test the lighting. Okay, so take your Ionics, if you have the liquid, I don't know. Um, you can drink it out of a cup. 
drink it like this. Like I drink this. Does anybody have stress? I drink this like vodka. There's so much stress going on. I mean, whatever you want to do. I mean, legit. Like, what is going on? Make it funny. Make it fun. Um, so you're talking. You want to talk me off, John? I don't know. Okay. No, I say. Okay. So, so one thing that I love that you taught me really is is to let people into your life with your stories, and I love your stories because you're doing things like drinking Dionics and working out, and like you're you're showing your life, you with your niece, other people, right? Um, and, and a lot of people will say that's intimidating for them right now. And someone might look at you, Robin, and say, well, I can never do what Robin does. I could never, you know, do all the things that Robin does because I'm not Robin. What would you say to those people who say, well, it's easy for Robin to let people into their, into, into her life. But what about me? Right. I'm not like Robin. What would you say to those people? Oh my gosh. I, you're not, you know, you're not me, but your brand of beautiful is needed. Like there's seven and a half billion people out here. Everyone's not going to relate to me. They're just not. And if you don't step up and go first, who, who, why, why would anybody else go first? If you don't show up, why would anybody else show up? We don't need just a bunch of Robins out here. I'm sorry. We don't, we need you. We need you. Um, so no, Yes, I show my niece. My niece is coming over after this. She wanted to sleep over yesterday. I was like, girl, I have to get, I'm getting ready for this thing. And I have all these, you know, calls, but she's going to come over. She's going to be on my calls later, but incorporate your kids. If you have kids, she'll be on my calls later. I don't care. Like this business is family and contribution and you can do this with your kids and it doesn't have to be perfect. Messy is, is even better because you're showing other people that they can do it too. So you gotta be relatable. Yes, I love glitz and glam. I love getting dressed up. And you know, it's kind of hard because I've always been a girly girl. I don't wanna say it's hard, but like, you know, some people, like you said, it's that word intimidated. I don't, it is what it is, but I have my own insecurities. I've had for so many years as well. And being into fitness, I never was always into fitness. I had to grow to get better. I had to, you know, step up to work out and to be comfortable to get on with no makeup on. Like, so I'll show that sometimes to be more relatable. So if you are a person that is so perfect and you want everything to be perfect, I think that's not relatable. So you want to try to be relatable to inspire other people, but definitely um, trying to showcase other areas of your life. So definitely I show, we are about health, health, nutrition. I show the products, I show lifestyle. And when we could go out, I would go, we would go out and I'm taking videos. I'm taking pictures. You don't have to post the videos to your story right in the moment, but grab a couple shots and then you can add them to your story later. That's something that I will do. Even if it's like 10 hours later, you have pictures and videos in the archives to throw in. Um, it's almost like you're making your own reality show. Um, of you and stories, I will say, um, yeah, I, it was like, oh my gosh, I have to start talking more, but it's like all my stories and keep the circle up at the top, up at the top. And I think it was Jess. I don't know if she's on here. She's not even in my team. We're not financially linked. I love her. But she said after NYKO once we were in coming off the airplane, going to get our luggage. And she's like, Robin, you haven't talked on your story for a, lot, a while like today, like this morning. And I was like, oh yeah, I guess not. She goes, you have to keep the circle up there. You gotta keep the circle up at the top, you guys. But can I tell you what else? She's so right because, and ever since it's like, okay, keep, just add something, but you know, and mix it up. But my favorite store, anybody have or follow someone that they really like or a clothing store or something. And the circle is up there with new items every day every a couple hours they're like buy me buy me buy me you like me you like me or domino's pizza is like hi get my pizza get the pizza it's like ah okay so if you're just good energy you're bringing passion excitement you know what people buy from people they know like and trust and if you're not talking if you're just putting up like some words like it's it's boring it's boring. I'm sorry. It's bo I'm sorry, not sorry. It's boring. So try to just get out of your comfort zone. Like you're going to inspire someone else. Everybody else is worried about what they look like less than, than what you are thinking you look like. Truly, you're going to inspire. Like if you can inspire one person, that's really what it's about. So um, yeah, I just try to mix it up. Healthy lifestyle, food, um, being funny, having fun, um, whether it's clothing, um, community, your team, rank advancements, you know, transformations, it's literally mixing it up. And when I look at my posts, I'm like, okay, what did I post yesterday? What did I post the day before? 
I need a family post. Now I need a healthy lifestyle post. Um, now I, I'm, you know, I need a community post, um, you know, isogenics, a product post. So kind of look back at what you've posted. So it's not like product, product, product. So I didn't finish there. So 10, four, one, we have the 10 of 10 posts of your other passions, four posts that are isogenics related product or um, income or a transformation or something, rank advancement, one power post a week. If you have not, if you're new here and you have not shared your story of who you are and sharing like your pain points of the feel felt found where you used to be, um, like starting out with, I remember when I was meal prepping and on Sunday and I took five hours during the day to chop and prep and my chicken and sweet potatoes weighed in grams on a scale. You know, and finally, after fi being introduced to this amazing superfood nutrition system, I feel free from food and cravings. I have the most natural energy. I don't have to meal prep as much. And I'm so excited and looking forward to the future. So excited for the next detox next month or whatever you want to say. But like, you have to share some of your struggles or even for myself, um, losing my whole stream of income. That's hard for some people to share. And it took me a long time to share that, I will say. But you know what? If you don't talk about money, you're not going to make money. And I know everyone on here is kind of interested in sharing money. So you do got to get a little vulnerable in sharing that. So 10 posts of your passions, four posts that are isogenics related, one power post a week. Um, and that's, you could even say, I remember when I, I, I grew so much during this time. That's a power post, like a growth power post um, through life and your journey. Um, and then posting between like, 7 and 9 a.m. is a good time, or in the morning. This is what I've found. 7 and 9 a.m., noon, lunchtime, um, and in the, in the evening, like 7 to 9 p.m., typically 7 or 8 p.m. Um, Thursday through Saturday is kind of hit or miss, but you still have to post <laughs> something. Um, do it anyways. Um, and then you can do Motivation Monday. You can do Transformation Tuesday. You can do Wellness Wednesday or Wealth Wednesday or Wisdom Wednesday. Um, you can do Transformation Thursday. You can do Thrive Thursday. You can do Thirsty Thursday. Um, face Friday and just show transformation of before and after of faces. Um, Freedom Friday. Taking pictures out in um like good scenery or even if you're in your home or trying to have more depth in the background like yes i can get a picture here in my chair which i've posted that too um or selfies but anyone can take selfies so try to set a timer up and get pictures with more depth depth behind you um set it duct tape it to a tree uh, okay that's another thing use the tool use tools um <laughs> I use duct tape sometimes. I have duct tape in my car. I will duct tape my phone to the side of my car. I'll get out of the car. I'll go stand in the woods, in the tree, in the trees and take a picture. Okay, set the timer, take a picture. You have all this depth and scenery behind you. It's freedom, cast a vision. So um, yeah, what else? I don't know. I just like, who do you wanna attract to your business? So what does that show on your page and your profile? Do you want, polished professional people? Do you want progress? You have to be progressing yourself and being a product of the product is gonna help you progress too. So progress, community, be relatable. You can't just be so perfect all the time. Um, time freedom, choices, family. So yeah, do funny things. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, my niece is trying to teach me TikTok. I'm doing TikTok. I look like a crazy head. And I'm like, I don't know how to do this. But, and then I'm like, I look stupid. I'm like, I can't even do what she's teaching me. But I, I put it up there anyways, because it is actually funny. It's relatable. There's so many other people trying to do it. Just, you, it doesn't need to be perfect, you guys. Um, talking about connection and engagement, you know, you can post all these things and add all this passion and excitement and fun. But, you know, you've got to talk to people. And I use voice messaging all the time. So if people are following your stories or liking your posts, you know, send a voice message. You guys, we kind of do something that's three by three by three with our team. And really that's not even that much. Like if you, if this has turned from your plan B to now your plan A, you could be doing like 15 by 15 by 15 a day. Pour greatness into 15 people. You're not even mentioning isogenics. Hey, how are you? How are you doing with everything that's going on right now? I just want to send you some love, some support. Um, I saw your cute picture with your, your, your daughter. She looked amazing. I saw you guys were drawing on the, on the sidewalk with chalk. I mean, look at what's on their page and be genuine about it. Like that's not being fake. Um, so pour greatness into five, 
10, 15 people a day. Reach out to 5, 10, 15 people a day. Follow up with 5, 10, 15 people a day. So 5 by 5 by 5 every single day. Do you know how many people you can touch and reach? Because um, there are so many people that say that they were interested in isogenics. This has been five years for me almost now. It's timing is everything. And so I'm following up with them. I'm like, hey, how are you? I'm not just like, hey, we're doing an 11 day shred. I know you said you want it in, you know? No, right now you have to kind of share it a little different. You're checking in with them. How are they doing with everything that's happening? And let them talk, let them talk to you. Uh, one other thing that I'm just gonna throw out here is do not send a video to people without their permission. Do not send some long, huge thing without them asking more questions. Do not just add someone to a, per, to a page without their permission. I just think it's just, it's, it ruins it for network marketing. That's just not the way we wanna do things. It happens to me all the time. They didn't even ask me anything about me or talk to me, you know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. Um, yes, what else can I say? I, I literally have so many things around here. Uh, I love John. it, Robin. I'm telling you right now, like this is just some of the notes that I've been taking. Like this is bananas, it's so good. I hope everyone's taking notes as well. Now, one thing I do want to ask you, Ron, is, is sometimes people are intimidated by the technology, right? Like, 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 you know, there was a time where it was like, all right, you have to figure out Instagram. And now you're figuring out TikTok. And, and there's a lot of different platforms that are out there and that shifts. What would you say to someone who is intimidated by learning the new technology or learning how to use a new platform? Oh, if I can do it, you can. <laughs> I mean, literally, I mean, honestly, I literally wasn't on Instagram for so long. I, I mean, there's Google. You can Google how to do Instagram, how to do Instagram stories. There's training on that. Um, you guys, I, I will just say like, honest to goodness, like I swear to you, sometimes people, I don't know, they tell me, oh, you make it look so easy. I did not have a clue. I, I was intimidated. I didn't want to go on Facebook Live. You're like, you're like sweating to turn and push the button to go Facebook Live. Still, sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, am I gonna say this right? You know what, just do it. Um, I guess I can just say like, you're gonna inspire someone else that's scared to do it. Every, so many people are scared of what they are gonna look like. So you can't be afraid to go first. If you don't go first, someone else isn't going to, and I will repeat it again, that it's, there's seven and a half billion people out here and so many are just like you. So um, there's Google, there's trainings. Um, yeah, I have no clue how to do TikTok. Everyone's doing the thing where they pass the beer or pass the drink. I don't know how to do it. Yesterday, I'm like, I wanna do that. I'm like, okay, I need to Google it. I need to learn. I will figure it out. I didn't know how to do Zooms. I didn't know how to do PowerPoint presentations. I didn't even do PowerPoint presentations probably for the first four years of this business. Like what? I mean, you just figure it out. And with a lot of help, I will say, you know, so many people and Hayden, Barbara has helped me so much with PowerPoint presentations and Zoom. It's like off the chain. So thank you, Hayden, if you're watching, I don't know. But you literally, um, there, this team is, you know, one team, Isogenics is one team and everyone's here to add value and help you if you have a question. You absolutely 100%. It's just like getting on your bike or your kid learning to walk. Are they gonna stop trying to figure it out? No. This, this, the biggest thing I can say for the key to success here is like, it's a decision. It's truly just a decision. I decided to grab a hold of this and to learn it. And I still have so much more to learn, like so many other people, but I legit do. <laughs> I'm just going to say, and it's a decision to get better. And if you want better, that's going to have to be your standard to get better. Um, and there's going to be times like even for me when people switch teams or they want to, or they quit this business or they return a product. And those are the times that you're going to say, I already made a decision to get better. And there's seven and a half billion people out here. And I still love on those people. If they return a box, it's okay. It's not their time because you know what? Some of those people have came back now. I mean, you're, you, you just have to make a decision and then all, all the obstacles will fall away. I promise, I promise you're going to get better. Um, I know John, what else? Polls, take polls and, and questions on your stories for engagement. 
Um, if you guys aren't using polls, like if you're doing an 11 day shred and talk on your story and take a poll and don't say the yes or no answer, like say, oh my gosh, who's, ex who's ready to detox with me ex next week? That could be a post on your story, okay? You could take a picture of yourself or it could just be words, who's, who wants to detox with me next week and take a poll and say, there's two options, yes or no. Don't, you can change that and type in there, just so you know, you can change that if you don't know. Change it to, I'm in, heck yes, or heck yeah. Don't say yes or no. Don't give them the option of no, no. Don't say that. And then if you're talking about income, which I mix up, obviously I mix up the products and healthy lifestyle transformation, but I have turned to, you got to talk about money. Scared money don't make money, as Emily says too, right? But literally, you know, I'm like, if time and money were of no object to you, what would you be doing and who would you be doing it with? That's, you can ask a question and then people can type in there. It makes them think, cast a vision, you know, and show that. Um, I know, John, there's so many things. So you got to be talking about your vision. And really my mission and vision is to really um, help more women, especially families, create their own financial independence um, and living life on purpose and by design, right? And not having a boss. And so I do share that. I talk about it on my stories. I talk about it on my posts. You have to be sharing your own vision too. I love it so much. I love it so much. And you dropped so much genius. Like I said, I've got notes all over here that I'm going to be applying to my own life. Um, this has been so powerful. Now, I want to re re reiterate to everybody, because of the situation we're in right now, as you're posting, it's important to be compliant. There were a lot of network marketing companies and other health and wellness companies who um, received letters from the FDA or FTC you know, saying, hey, quit making claims. Now, we don't make any claims about what our products can do. One easy way to avoid that is to not include coronavirus or COVID or anything in your post. Don't say it when you're talking about our products, okay? Mm -hmm. Just don't have the two together at all, right? You can talk about, hey, you can boost your immunity with some of our products, that's okay, but mm -hmm. you wouldn't put in that same post COVID-19, coronavirus, anything like that, because that's just not okay right that is that is not okay so don't be doing that stay compliant with everything that you're putting out there and again let people into your life now robin before we go i want to ask and this is my favorite question um before we go would you tell us the one thing that you think is most important for everybody here to learn from you what is the, your number one tip for everybody here to show up make a decision to show up literally show up Show up on the calls for your team calls. Show up in person at events, even when you don't have a new person. I always show up and sit up on your chair. Sit up and take notes. Just show up. Like, I, I mean, it's as simple as that. It's a decision. That's the number, I'm sorry, that's the number one thing. Sorry, not sorry, but you got to show up. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. You got to show up. Yeah. I love it. Now, this has been so powerful. I want to tell everybody when this recording comes out, and again, it's at Isogenics Business backslash uh, isogenicsbusiness.com backslash calls. I want you to take this recording and anyone who is saying to you, I don't know what to do right now. I don't know how to share right now. I don't know what I should be doing in my business right now. I want you to send them the direct link to this recording because this is so powerful. So do that. Robin, thank you so much for pouring into us. You're absolutely amazing. This training can change people's businesses if they just apply it. So thank you for pouring into us, Robin. You are awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's so much fun. I'm so excited. I'll be looking for you guys' posts. Okay. Have a good day. See everybody. Bye.